Well, hello there, and welcome to another special video. Uh, so as I said in my last video, I had been um, working on trying to do a few other things. Um, you know, sometimes I get so wrapped up with my traded card videos, but they are a lot of fun. So, uh, but it is nice to be able to do some offshoot stuff, talk about some other random things. Um, but today's video is a very special video um, because uh, finally got the. Uh, this isn't any kind of subscription service or anything like that. This was uh, sort of a special deal uh, that was worked out between me and Sweetie Girl Designs. I purchased uh, multiple things from her VHS tapes, trading cards, of course, um, other cool collectibles, trinkets, Simpson stuff. And I had reached out to her and I had said um, that I have a bunch of stuff that I don't want but you might be interested in so maybe we can work out some kind of trade. So I sent her a box with a bunch of fun stuff and then she basically reciprocated and gave me some stuff that I've been looking forward to along with a lot of bonus goodies. And when I say a lot, I'm talking like massive massive goodies so I'm just gonna dive right into this um, I already opened it and looked at everything because I just couldn't wait um, but I still wanted to do an unboxing uh, for you guys because I know that you guys really enjoy these but I also wanted to do um, an unboxing uh, for her as well um, so that she can see my uh, general reaction to all this so first off I'm just gonna get the big one out of the way right away um, we, I finally got Maggie. I finally have acquired Maggie. The Sims, Burger King Simpsons action figure. So, now, all of them together, I have the entire Simpsons family that I literally had to purchase one at a time, one by one, until I got all of them. I had Bart first for the longest time, and then I found uh, Lisa, I think I found Lisa by herself, and then Homer and Marge I got lucky with, so now I have that. So, thank you so much, Anne. Um, it really does mean a lot, because she's like really hard to find for some reason. Like I've come across multiple Lisas, I've come across a ton of Barts, um, Marge on occasion, Homer seems to be fairly hard to find. But I like almost never see Maggie, so at least at least around here, my my neck of the woods, and a little creepy too. It looks like she's got like lipstick, or maybe that's like blood. So, but either way, super stoked. The family is finally complete. So, great great stuff. Okay, up next, I was not expecting to get these. Uh, these totally blew my mind when I saw them. This, these are, uh, let, let me see, let me get this right, these are 1992 McDonald's Coca-Cola Special Edition Batman Returns fucking plastic cups. It's fucking awesome. From 1992, based on Tim Burton's, the sequel to the 1989 blockbuster smash hit Batman. This is Batman Returns. And on the one uh, plastic cup, we got the... Um, super sexy vixen, um, Catwoman, of course. And there, you see her name right there. And then over here, we've got the Dark Knight himself, Michael Keaton, aka Mr. Mom, and Beetlejuice. And there you have it. 1992. I fucking love McDonald's collectibles. I fucking love Batman Returns. And I absolutely love glasses, or plastic cups, or, or any, any cups, glasses, mugs. Um, so yeah, the, these are phenomenal. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to use these. Like, I think I'm just going to keep them as like collector's items. I Maybe on special occasion, maybe I'll drink out of it. Maybe I'll let my girlfriend drink out of it. But these are fucking great, man. Yeah, super stoked. Fucking awesome. Don't know where the hell you found those. Okay, this one was a special bonus, really awesome. I'm actually, I'm not a huge pin guy, but I do have a decent collection of pins on my one bag. And uh, there's a new show out called, uh, or yeah, TV series um, called um, Strange Things. 
And Sweetie Girl Designs did this awesome button that says, I survived the upside down Hawkins, Indiana. Or in, yeah, in Indiana. In Diana. <laughs> um, world's biggest tourist trap. And she's got this own, like, little cute bag and everything. So, this is what I'm saying. Like, uh, Spiritical Designs has all kinds of cool stuff. Um, she's got an Etsy page. Obviously, she has a Facebook page. So, search her. Um, check her out. Uh, check her stuff out. Really awesome. Great stuff. Um, and I like that. That's neat. I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? The show just came out on Netflix, like, maybe a month ago, two months ago. So, it's pretty cool to be able to own, you know, some type of memorabilia or whatever from the from the show. So there is that. Okay, moving along. I'll do all the cards together at once. Okay, and then she sent more buttons, which like I said, this is gonna be awesome because I have a nice collection of buttons um, on my bag, book bag downstairs that I take to work all the time. Um, I believe these are maybe EC Comics or uh, maybe even Marvel's uh, House of Horrors. <clears throat> These are obviously from comic books. You got like some alien looking green, some kind of monster. Uh, this looks like maybe a zombie with like a woman underneath him, like blonde hair. And then here it says, actually says something tails. So like that could be like the cover of a comic. Looks like she's like, about to eat. I'm not quite sure what that is, but oh, she might be looking in a in a glass ball like a, a witch. But my fucking favorite, which I love, is this fucking skeleton on the telephone, <clears throat> the old school telephone, and he's saying, "Heh heh, it's me, darling, calling from the grave." And then you see like ee, like coming out the other end. So. Very awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, definitely these will come in handy decorating my bag. At some point, I'll show you the bag. <clears throat> yeah, this, um, okay, so this is 1995. This is the fucking The Tick from the cartoon. Um, I am a huge uh, Tick fan, uh, especially the cartoon. Always loved the cartoon as a kid. Uh, it was funny because I didn't get all the jokes at first. Um, but but then uh, as I got older, uh, looking back, I definitely appreciated the show a lot more. <clears throat> but um, just awesome, just great. It's the fucking tick. Can't go wrong. This looks like some kind of kids meal maybe. Um, I love how he has wheels on him. This will definitely probably put that right there. Look at that. Found the spot for it already. So I love little trinkets and uh, collectibles and stuff like that. Always very cool. Okay, so up next, I mean, it's just, there's just so much in here, like, there's just so much. Um, this is absolutely hilarious, I was cracking up. Um, fucking American Gladiators. Uh, believe it or not, I've never had um, any American Gladiators uh, toys, not that I can recall, uh, like looking at these, I don't, I don't think I had them. Um, but I just like how it just says Red Challenger jams him with official joust equipment and uh, he comes with his helmet and his uh, jouster. Most people remember uh, American Gladiators remembers the jousting um, and the Gladiator Assault, that was really cool too. Uh, Gladiator Wall, that was a climbing thing but yeah, I mean uh this just blows my mind. He kind of looks like the dude from uh, Saved by the Bell. I think his name was Slater. Kind of looks like Slater. I think this is actually Slater's face taken from that toy. I don't know if they actually made Saved by the Bell toys. <laughs> but if they did, this guy uh, could totally pull off. Uh, Mario Lopez, I think, is the dude's name. But yeah, this is just insane. And like as you can tell, you know, you can... Uh, I don't know if I'm able to adjust this, but if I uh, pull that over there, you could see... All of my, um, you can see up there all my 
collectibles of uh, action figures. So there we go. Make sure we got that got that centered there. Centered on my beautiful beard. Okay. So that's that. This is from 1991. Uh, once again, I don't know where you got this. Um, I, I never see American Gladiator stuff in my neck of the woods. And uh, Dinosaur Dracula sent a uh, Topps poster in perfect condition. Uh, American Gladiators. So this will definitely go along with that very nicely. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, up next, I'll, I'll tear into these guys. Um, the, this actually means a lot. Um, I've never had these before, um, but I am aware of them. They're called Muscle Men, and the original Muscle Men uh, came were were like pink, like this. I believe the original run or the or the earlier runs, and then later on down the line they did start uh, giving them color and making them different. Uh, muscle Men were like a little bit too early for me. Like I just missed them by like probably a couple years because I was born in 87 so most of that stuff was still come being pumped out was still on the store shelves uh, you know it's, it's one of those weird things where like I always say time moved slower but time kind of did move a little slower especially from a consumer point of view because Stuff lasted on the shelves longer. Stores tended to hold on to inventory for longer periods of time and recycle stuff. So I always got lucky finding older toys, older movies, just older stuff. If you really dug around the store, if you checked out like the nooks and crannies of the department store, you know, the clearance area. Certain department stores had like the bargain basement where like all this old shit would just go down there and sit because they didn't want to get rid of any of it. They didn't want to throw out this inventory because at some point they spent money on it and obviously they, they, they took up floor space. So you want to make sure that you sell. Whereas like nowadays, it, stores are all about cranking out new stuff constantly and a lot of stuff actually gets thrown out or just gets sent back to the warehouse or they sell it online and you can't find it in the store like all the clearance stuff just goes to the to the warehouse or the internet so it's like things move actually faster things don't last as long as they used to in the store um, so I got lucky with real Ghostbusters and and uh, the Ninja Turtles and, and a lot G.I. Joe and all those other crazy toy lines um, but there was still a few like I'd say the muscle men that just slipped me by and also a lot of it had to do with like I only had access to so much you know I didn't have the internet back then so if I didn't know to look for these guys I wouldn't have gone out and that's another thing like these could have been around and my parents might have just not bought them for me thinking that I wouldn't like them when I went to the store, I, I didn't see them. But real quickly here, didn't mean to go off on a tangent there, but it's one of those things that, uh, you know, old stories and memories, old department stores, they, they hold a big part of my uh, childhood, you know, because I my parents split up, so I had my parents would do different things with me. My mom always loved to go shopping, so I always had these great uh, department store memories uh, with my mom, you know, going to these different department stores, older department stores, uh, and just different stores and stuff. And it was fun. Like, I loved going shopping, going to strip malls. But then my dad, on the other hand, was more like, he didn't do shopping, but he was a little bit more of like, let's do miniature golf, let's go to the arcade, let's go to the movies or the mall. So like, it was the perfect balance. Like I got what I wanted because there's a side of me even now that I still like to go out shopping and the thrill of the hunt. But there's another part of me that like, I want to do the arcade, I want to go bowling, I want to miniature golf. So it's it's cool that I was able to get brought up like that. Um, so there are some Fuck, it's a Halloween fucking, oh my God item, holy shit. <sighs> Like, this might possibly be the best item in the box if it wasn't for something else that's in there. I mean, all these items are amazing. It's kind of hard to top any of these, but like, Halloween just holds such a special place in my heart. 
horror movies hold such a special place in my heart. It's like that one thing that I always go back to. You know, even before I was big into video games, I was big into Halloween stuff. Even before I was big into vinyl records, I was, you know, Halloween and horror was where it started. Before all this other stuff, like Halloween, it was always like great memories, great times, it's just the atmosphere, the season, the colors, everything. Um, and it's, and look at this, I prepared for once. Um, this is great, thank you Anne. Like seriously, thank you so much. Because as you can tell, I have a nice little collection here of horror Halloween uh, tapes. So, this is perfect, I can add this to my collection. I also already listened to some of it, because um, I do have a cassette tape player, uh, like very nice. But it's awesome that it has the fucking box. This is from 1991, and they even say on the tape, this is Dove Audio Productions Incorporated, 1991. So it's official, this is a fucking official 90s product. But the fact that you still found this in the sleeve, that you still had the sleeve on this, um, because whenever cassette tapes in the 90s started coming out with these shitty cardboard sleeves, everybody fucking threw out the cardboard, or they got ruined or wet or, or bent. So that's insane. Like that, you don't you don't find it anymore. You just don't. And I love the cover. I love all the sounds. Enter this house, and you may never come out alive. And I love the guy. He kind of looks like Lon Chaney from a London After Midnight a little bit. The long lost horror film. So I could talk about uh, these for days. Uh, but yeah, get, uh, getting back to what I said earlier, I did listen to some of it. It's fucking awesome. It's actually better than the other ones. The sound is really good. It actually scared me. There was actually a part that scared the shit out of me. Um, so, And I only listened to like about a quarter of it. So I got a whole other side to go and the rest of it to listen to. So this will definitely be playing this Halloween. Um, so thank you. Thank you for that. Add that to my par VHS collection. Okay, all right. Then we have some odds and ends here. Man, this box just keeps going. So here we have Pukemon. Got to gross them out. Got to gross them out, Pukemon. Oh man, that's uh, hilarious. Never fucking heard of this. I have no idea uh, what this is. I mean, I know what it is, but I mean like looks like it might be from 2000 Pacific Pacific uh, Cards Incorporated but obviously it's a play on uh, Pokemon so very funny um, definitely we'll be doing a review on those uh, these are really cool Robot Wars rub off games and stickers that's super fucking cool and speaking of robots, it reminded me of this little mini robot that I got in a Dinosaur Dracula fun pack. So, I'm uh, not sure what these are. I never heard of these. These look really old, too. 1985. Holy fuck. So, crazy. Crazy stuff right there. Uh, then here we have... Oh, yeah. This is another one of those things. Uh, it always hits home for me. Super... Uh, Super nostalgic. Lots of memories. I wasn't planning on opening these. Looks like they were open already. I'm cheating. But I got the California Raisins World Tour uh, sticker cards. Fucking awesome. These are also very old. 1988. Um, I love anything um, raisins that I can get my hands on. It's hard to come across. Uh, California raisin stuff, and if you do, it's always really expensive. So I do appreciate getting this because um, their their stuff's very rare, and I love the California raisins. They're awesome. They're always singing, they're always laughing, they're always having a good time. All right, getting back to the Simpsons, uh, these are just absolutely phenomenal. I cannot say enough about these. Number one, right off the bat, they look ridiculously old. Uh, this paper just looks crazy old. Kodak Royal. 
It almost feels like, um... Like, somebody took these stickers and put them on some kind of special, like, paper. Like, picture paper. I can't explain it, but... And also, these are, like, very, very old. I want to say this is these have got to be 89, because there was some stuff that came out in 89, like marketing for the show before it got really big. I'm wondering if this is maybe from that. It could be 1990, but it just looks so freaking old. And they're just in fucking amazing condition. Yeah, it's weird that the one says Kodak. Like, that's super strange. Bart looks really creepy there. I like how Homer's beard is always, like, very pronounced. Like, it's very, very dark, very brown. Like, early Homer, they always, like, hardcore, like, showed off. And, like, also the beer can just says beer. You know, but the big beer on the show was stuff. So, like, right off the bat, that makes me wonder, like, this has got to be early. So, thank you for those. Very awesome. Very, very cool. Is, like... I wouldn't say my holy grail, but, like, close to it. Um, I finally fucking own the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The Coming Out of Their Shells tour. <laughs> like, I don't even know what else to say. Like, that says it all right there. Like... A picture's worth a thousand words. I mean, this is fucking phenomenal. I own, of course, the Coming Out of Their Shells cassette tape. I also, I do own the making of this. So, but I've never owned the actual show. I've never actually seen the full show. So, I am like super stoked and super excited to watch this. This is going to be fucking awesome. Uh, is something else in here that I actually did not open up yet. This is awesome, uh, sort of, she looks like she sealed it or something, pack of cards that I have not opened up. Um, I tried to peek at them, but I figured I would wait. I'm not going to open up the cards, but I'm going to open up like this pack to see what's all in here, because I'm like really excited to see what these all are. So first we have the hell the soaps of ABC featuring all my children. Oh my god. <laughs> oh really? Like, I don't even know what the hell to say about that. That's hilarious. The soaps of ABC. Why is this a thing? Like why why are these cards? I don't understand. Like, there's so many trading cards out there. Alright, these are Florian Cats stickers from 1982, 1983. Holy shit, look at this. This is like the weirdest looking package I've ever seen. This is super fucking weird. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, and there's a stick of bubblegum in here. Okay. Yeah, I never heard of that. It's like so strange. It's like see-through. Wow, this is weird. This is super fucking odd. Anyway. Not gonna spend too long looking at but thank you. Alright. Oh, nice! So I got another robot. Another Robot Wars cards. So, I got two of those, so, three cards, two stickers, and one stick of gum. Yeah, this will be good. I'll have to do, like, a two-parter, opening up those. Maybe I can cram them on in one episode. All right, and then, oh, shit, I'm going to wait for those. Hold on, now, what the hell is this? Gross bears. One big bad button.
see if I can get this open here. Gross bears, never heard of that. Wow, look at this button, 1985. Holy shit, this looks old. Yeah, that pin is like really in there. I get a kick out of you. Butt bear. What the fuck? <laughs> Butt bear. Okay. That is random as hell. That's funny as shit. Wow, look at this button. Like, I can't get over, like, how old it looks. Can't stop staring at it. Jesus Christ. That's awesome. I love this, like, Cyclops looking, like, beaver. Like, what? Like, it doesn't look like a bear. It looks like a beaver. Because of his, like, tooth. Oh, man. 80s was a weird time. All right, oh man, I'm like so overjoyed that I like, I'm like coming down now from like my high, from my like excitement high, like this is just too much, like holy fuck, Donkey Kong, really, like that's amazing, like you didn't have to send all this, this is nuts, don't get carried away, wow, there he is, Girls Need Love too. that's awesome, and that's Rosaline. Oh shit. Oh my god, you sent all the ones that make the thing I- Oh my god, this is nuts. So there's Donkey Kong. Another Donkey Kong, that's Mario. I absolutely love this game too. Wow. 1982, look at that. These are like super fucking old. This is fucking crazy. Donkey Kong is king. Wow. I love the animations. This is awesome. It's better with Donkey Kong. <laughs> I love that. I love how Mario looks like such a fucking asshole. Because he is. He is kind of an asshole. He was an asshole in, in the later Donkey Kong games. Stamp out. Donkey Kong. Jump. Wow. That's unbelievable. Now what the heck is this? Oh, that's what it'll look like. Okay. Jump man at work. That's super fucking cool. All right, give me a minute here because I'm, I'm gonna do so much. Uh, and for sending these, obviously, AKA Sweetie Girl Designs. Um, for anybody else that watched this, that if you want to uh, get any of those cool goodies, uh, check out um, Sweetie Girl Designs. Sweetie Girl Designs on Facebook. Sweetie Girl Designs. Uh, as well as on um, the Etsy, her Etsy page. You could probably just Google her and you should be able to find it. So, thank you so much everybody for watching. As always, like, subscribe, and share me around the interwebs. Uh, thanks again, Sweetie Girl, Sweetie Girl Designs. Oh, can't speak today. Um, it's been absolutely uh, fantastic. All this stuff is, uh, is wonderful. So, uh, thank you, thanks a ton, and um, just uh, keep an eye out for more of my videos, alright? So, take care everybody.